what's happening fam welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing well so today i'm doing something way outside of my uh my comfort zone but i do a lot of risky stuff anyway so what i'm doing today are these rear bumper diffuser vents or panels and you can pick these up pretty much on ebay amazon you can pick them up for like 20 bucks or whatever the case might be and the purpose they serve is obviously when you measure and put them in properly and you cut the panels out it helps with more aerodynamics because so air that passes underneath the car ends up using the bumper as pretty much like a parachute so to speak so you know what i mean it every little thing helps also this diffuser here it's not a full diffuser to deflect all that air that comes under the car. It's it's almost like half of one. So this would actually be a good idea. Guys, tools you're gonna need, obviously a drill, some bits. Um, this comes with hardware that you would need. These are M5.8 bolts and they come with locking nuts, which is pretty cool. And um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting the nuts and the panels powder coated to match my intercooler piping. So they're gonna have, it's gonna be gloss black, like how you see it right here. I think this is anodized, but it's gonna be gloss black with a midnight clear on it. So it's gonna look so freaking sweet. Um, and I'm doing the bolts so you don't see freaking stainless steel. You know what I mean? It's gonna be black so it looks nice and clean and seamless. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> So as I said, oh guys, you're definitely gonna need maybe a center punch, maybe, but you're definitely gonna need a level. What I did just to run through this really quick, all I did was I went from the center right here, measured this, drew a line and came straight down. So that's the center point right there. And I went three inches from the center point to the right and left. That is what you see right here. So it looks pretty damn clean right now as it is you know what i mean all i gotta do now i gotta cut these ovals out so what i did was i put tape behind here and i drew the ovals with a pencil as you could see so now all i gotta do is just take them out and cut them out oh well yeah you're gonna need a freaking dremel <sighs> almost forgot that you definitely gonna need a dremel the bit that you're using is a 960 fourths the bad boy right there that's the perfect size and guys that's really it this is obviously you know what i mean you're taking a chance you definitely measure properly because remember you, you're cutting and drilling into your bumper so know what you're doing know before you go all right Alrighty, that shit came out nice. Inside, obviously the brace over here, I have this for all my powder coating, it's Moto Black. This stuff is freaking fantastic and it smells awesome. That's good to put on any type of metal or whatever. Look how clean the in, inside of there looks. So I might hit that up, touch that up with some black paint at another time, like just to black it out. But this thing looks so nice. Guys, definitely you need that cutting wheel with a Dremel and you need this to smooth it out, to smooth out around the edges. And what I did was instead of just cutting individual ovals, I just cut one big oval and pull the whole piece out. But yo, it looks so nice. So I'll be back in a bit. Time to powder coat. As I said, the pieces are gonna be powder coated plus the bolts are gonna be powder coated. Talk to you guys soon. All right guys, two days later. Yes, I know that looks a little weird. But I set up a demonstration just to show you guys and to prove that what I'm doing makes sense and I'm not just cutting holes in my bumper for no goddamn reason. But 
As I said, two days later, got the piece back. Look at that midnight clear on this bad boy. Looks so nice. And the bolts are in the bag. The heads are gloss black. This is gloss black with a midnight clear on it. And I'm using my dog's dryer. It's pretty powerful just to simulate air hitting the rear part of the bumper while you're driving and show you how by doing this, it alleviates that parachute like effect just for more free flowing air. Also, what I did was I painted in here gloss black. I had some spray paint just taped around the hole and just spray painted it to avoid any excess overspray. That's why I use the uh, painter's tape. And I just stuck this piece right here and I'm about to show you what I'm talking about here real quick. Now, <clears throat> if you notice, my diffuser, the old one I used to have covered all the way to where that Y in the exhaust is. This one is like a, three, a half to three quarter type where it's only till like right here. So a lot of air, the diffuser helps with that turbulence, but you know what I mean? Not like 100% effective because now because it's not a full diffuser, air is gonna get diverted above it. So this is what I'm showing you. So as you can see where the diffuser is right there, where it ends right after the underglow strips. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So now, let's see what happens here. Guys, just wanna show you for shits and giggles how much air gets diffused with these panels. Alrighty, we are finished. Look how beautiful this looks, man. So nice, so, so nice. Check out the, uh, the finish on it. Oh yeah, let me pull this bad boy out so you can see it in the sun. All right, guys, we're just about finished right here. Now, it's pretty bright where I'm standing, so I can't see what this camera is seeing, but I ain't gonna lie, that midnight clear looks freaking sick on this bad boy. Look how that looks. So, so nice. And I'm glad I actually painted the inside of that bumper being black too, because it actually looks pretty seamless, especially from back here. But I can't lie to you, man. It gives it such an aggressive look. I love it. Shouts out to my boy Chris at Long Island Powder Coating for getting this job done for me in a matter of like a day and a half, two days tops. He did such a great job on these. Also, as I said, I definitely uh, chose right when I thought I'd do it like this and have like the beauty washers, but I didn't like how far it protruded. So as I said, the choice was perfect for me to have him powder coat the bolts and it gives it such a clean look. You gotta love it, gotta love it. Also, I'll have these nuts as well in the description in case you drop one, because remember, it's 20 of them and if you drop it, they're locking nuts too, they're just not regular. So I'll put that in the description too. It's a good thing I had it because I actually dropped one in there. and. As I said, I'm glad to show you guys how the airflow works because I'm telling you right now, it's, these are things that you really don't think about, but no joke, the bumper literally acts like a parachute, especially if you're going at a decent speed. So again, everything is gonna be in the description. Guys, thanks for joining me again as usual. Look at that midnight there. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take it easy.